All right, guys, this is going to be a part two. Take this love vitamin. I am kind of rushy because I don't know what this is. I keep hearing do these messages, man. Um, Your person is ashamed. Shamed or living, they're living in shame or ashamed of something. Let's see what you need to know about your person. What do you need to know about that person? Yep. This relationship. Um, this was this was something somebody thought they were was very solid. Um, this is a relationship they feel they were gonna have forever, whether it be with you or somebody else. Um, they're missing it. Mm. Ooh. For somebody here, your person is afraid and concerned about you getting new love. There's something about their past that they don't want you to know about. Yeah, this is a straight-up love connection. Now, somebody here, I can tell you right now, there are twins amongst this reading right here. Um, for those of y'all that may not resonate with twins, this is someone here. The head games they play cause them, cause them heartache and pain. Let's take a look into the past real quick. What do you need to know about this past card? What happened? The judgment. Someone thought something was very stable, very solid. Um, this could be a, a connection that, you know, there was a lot of love here. A lot of, like, true and genuine love. The lover's card. Yeah, there's the empress card. Ooh. Somebody has a private investigator. Why do I feel like... Yep. This person has secrets in their past. Why do I feel like somebody here had a private investigator on someone? Your person was always in love with you. But the person they were with, the person that came in between you and them, it was something about this person. They, they knew it. They knew they they couldn't trust them. And instead of them being honest with you, this person came and played head games with you. Although they loved you, they played with you. They tried to manipulate you. This is also someone who was doing a lot telepathically. What's the high priestess card in the past? Yep. So this person had a friend in the past that interfered ooh, and hurt them. This person right here not only hurt them one time, but hurt them several times. This is someone that they could have known for quite some time or just had, you know, a close a, a close bond with. This person right here, them and that friend, it ended because this friend was holding back for the, the truth from them. And the truth of the fact is your person had a friend that was misleading them, doing deceptive things. And, ooh, hell, lying. This person was a sheep and this person was a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. This friend. Yeah. Somebody here was caught up with a shapeshifter. So there was a friend that was very masculine, very dominating. Um, this this one look, this does not look like a connection. It looks like a true friendship. Someone that you think you know. I hear that song, All I Need is Someone Who Cares. Now your person is needing someone that cares because it's almost like this friend can't turn out to be faulty. I hear that song, Who's Making Love to Your Old Lady While You're Out Making Love. Aha. Your person got played by a friend. This friend was making love to their old lady, their old man. Someone could have caught somebody, because I hear bedroom. Someone could have caught somebody in the bed. They sure enough was, honey. Somebody also here was talking on like a burner phone or um, uh, what's the thing called? Those text now numbers. Yep. This was a very, very, very um, discreet thing that was going on right under this person's nose. This is someone that could have also been, you know, like how a friend, we look out for each other. They they did a lot of favors for this friend where this friend was doing them a favor and sleeping in their bed. I hear when someone was not at home. When the adults are away, the mice, are, the mice will play. So there was a mice in their house and their mice was a friend. Child, what else going on here? Yep. This is... A, Y'all, this is somebody here they did. They caught their friend. Somebody caught their friend. Like, literally caught them. If they didn't catch them directly in the bed, then they found some proof that ties them to someone they thought that was they were close to in this connection. 
Y'all would know if this is y'all in this connection or somebody else. But somebody, this this person, your person, I don't know. It 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 was a, it was a connection. They got broken hearted. They got uh, mind fucked. The screwery. Their mind was played with. And that's all they can think about it. All they do is think about it. This is someone that could have had an all-together family unit. This could also be someone that, you know, they found that they were misused, manipulated, and played because of money. Because their friend was sleeping with them. Yeah, this was a lot of money here, too. This person right here, whatever they saw, be it on a tape, be it them walking in, be it on paperwork, text messages, all they do is think about it. Let's look at it, y'all. Let's be nosy. What's in this person's mind? What are they thinking about? Damn. Yep. The four of pentacles that held them back. People they held down, waited. Ooh. This could this really could be a marriage. They love somebody. The person they love betrayed them. It's not just the betrayal, it's who the betrayal was with. I hear that scripture about Judas and Jesus. You know how Judas betrayed Jesus with a kiss? This person was betrayed by a friend that was close to them. Some of y'all may say it's family. That could be here as well, the Ten of Pentacles. Someone that was close to them. They held that person down. All they can think about, you know, is what they did for the person or the people. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, no. Mm-mm. They have a lot of regrets. They lost, they, this person allowed somebody too close to their home. They got too comfortable. It's almost like this. You know how like, let's say, let's say female, since I'm a female, let's say me and Tip, me and Tip close, we cool, you know, and I go to her house. I'm spending night at her house all the time. I speak well of her man all the time. I heard that song. Trust and believe me. Somebody friend was all alone sleeping with their person. Cause that's that image just popped up in my head. K Michelle, trust and believe me. You're gonna need me. It's like your person, that's what they're ashamed of. Not only what was done, but who did it? They're ashamed. This person is brokenhearted. I don't think this is y'all, unless y'all notice y'all the first cards that came out. But this person, uh, they was close to this person. This is like, you know, you got the keys of my house. If anything happened, you know, check on my boyfriend, check on my girlfriend, check on my husband, check on my wife, you know, check on my dog, this and this and that. They was doing more than checking. They were screwing the person that your person was with. And they this person had love. For some of you all, this was an all-together marriage. A marriage. They got betrayed by a Judas. A close friend was a Judas to them. And they have regrets because they they this could have been someone they thought you know that would never betray them, and they did. They came up in their seventh house as a rival, right up under their nose, too close. This person didn't have spiritual eyes to see, and you know how we just don't think people would cut us like that. That's what they did. They got cut by someone they would have least expected it by. And that's why they're so brokenhearted. Because head games was being played, because when Whenever your person wasn't at home or wasn't around, when the adult, when the adults are away, the kids will play or the mice will play. They had a, a, a mice or a mouse in their home. Yep. Give me this over here. I don't know. Yep. There. Yeah. They found that. Yeah, this was a family. This could have been family. Hell yeah. This person, they they were they, they this person found out not only were they being sneaky. But this is almost like somebody finding out, you know, all the hard times I went through was because of this. And it's almost like, you know, a friend being by your side coaching you saying, oh, you know, y'all is on a different season right now. Y'all to get back together. Like somebody is coaching and counseling you to work something out. But all along, they are in your home, in your girlfriend's, your boyfriend's, your wife's or your fiance's face and place. Damn. Yep, look at here. Broken hearted. And it, it really messes with their head. They could have got into a really bad physical fight because of who it was. Whoever this resonates with, your person is hiding because they are ashamed. Because somebody close to them, they had a foe or frenemy right under their nose. They wasn't just cutting the grass. They wasn't just coming over cleaning the bathrooms. They wasn't baking, you know, cakes and pies. 
they were making deposits. Yeah. And those two people were in love. Watch that video, Trust and Believe Me, You're Gonna Need Me. It's by Kay Michelle. Her friend, she felt like her boyfriend was doing something. And her friend was like, no, he would never cheat on you. And she popped up at her friend's house and her friend and her boyfriend were just about to have sex. Somebody here caught somebody. And it's not just what they caught, it's who they caught. Damn. But your person got played for a damn fool. That's what they did. I ain't gonna lie. Yep, a two-faced person. And this is someone here that, yeah, somebody he was in a marriage. Because that spirit, that contract card is here. And the, the truth came out, yeah, of what was hidden in the dark. How much they were being juggled. And somebody here, it's almost like when your person was asking the person they were with or the friend you think they cheating, they, 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 they became very hostile, aggressive, because they were trying to cover up their lie. Yep, it's King of Pentacles. This is this is somebody's spouse or a baby mama, a baby daddy. Your baby daddy was cheating or is cheating with your friend or some shit like that. And this is also where they, for somebody could have found out somebody was giving this person money. You know, it's like this King of Pentacles. Not only did he or she find out that the person they are with is sleeping with someone they know, but taking from them, sneaking from them, giving that person their money. The Six of Wands is here. The Six of Wands shows us, a, you know, shows us people that's successful. They have found a niche in their life, but they also have a lot of people around them. And the closest people to them are the ones that's hurting them. The person is ashamed. Yep. That's why they're hurt. They're very disappointed. Because this is someone here they, they definitely did trust. They had love for this person. And this person was a devil in disguise doing all types of evil things with them behind their back. Baby mama, baby daddy, wife, husband. This is someone here that they had problems in their home. But they discovered the person that there was a problem is a the person they were confiding in. Uh-uh. Uh, give me three cards to close this out. They shame as hell. Because they got the shit played out of them. Yep. See here? The Seven of Cups. And this person right here, they did go through a breakup. And they didn't know what they wanted to do because they were confused. They were confused. And this person knew something was going on. So your person could have hired like a private investigator to trail, you know, their boyfriend, their girlfriend, their husband, their wife, and their friend. Somebody left a trail or left a mess and they discovered the truth. The truth is they had a queen of swords, a person they, they probably wasn't having much sex with, but they were still doing life with. But this person was acting like they were a single person and this person right here was sleeping around and it hurt them because of who it was this person was sleeping with. But it was their plan because this person was truly misleading them. Like I said, your person got mindful and they got mind fucked pretty bad the person could be not whether whether the person be younger or not they have an immaturity towards them and this is someone here all they think about is what they saw what they found and they found much evidence much proof like that previous reading this of that abortion the lies I keep seeing text messages, like text messages phone calls sex tapes this person found something tangible or they're going to Yep. They gave a lot to this person. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be their own damn sister. They slept with a sister. Somebody here has a fade. See, they were taking care of somebody or just doing life with somebody who was financially cursed. The person is ashamed because of who it was. They got the shit played out of them by people that they trusted. Damn, I always fell out. Yep. Somebody here looking to somebody's medical records, a feminist medical record. They slept with somebody's new person here. There is something hidden about a paternity of a child. This is a superficial relationship. They had a superficial living. They wanted you to stay away from this masculine. Somebody here is on drugs. They could be a functional drug addict. This is somebody here that could have slept with someone's frat brother, sorority sister. But yet, your person was being bullied by someone. And they, that same person that's bullying them is gang stalking your ass. There was some sort of set up here that friends, I hear that song, what about your friends? Thank you, Leon. What about your friend? Would they stand your ground? Would they let you down? And for the love of money, people will rob their own brother. This person was set up and betrayed. They're ashamed because of who it 
was and they had someone close to them that was hiding major secrets there was a plan for somebody to be broke as hell. That friend could have been jealous. Let's say it's two men here. There definitely was a man here. Somebody was jealous of a male's anatomy, be it a, another man or a female. But all this financial hardship is like they were, this like your person found that a lot. They're ashamed, honey. They're ashamed. Yep. They know y'all, and, and these people know y'all make a good um a good couple. I saw that blood magic here. Blood magic is in in this um in this situation here also. Someone married somebody just to make them completely jealous of their ex. So somebody got into that contract card. They married someone not for love. They married for an opportunity. Someone married an opportunity. It's like their whole life was set up by someone that it was close to to fail because they're envious. They're envious of you, of this person, of your person. They got with someone that was completely evil. Somebody here is connected to your um, family or your friend line. So just know that a person that betrayed um, your person, be it, you know, it could be family or friend. It says family or friend here. And see here, this person gave him a her, a STI, STDSTI that cannot be um, gotten rid of. Your person is shame. Your shame is hell. Because they got the shit played out of them. It's almost like a person let something go way too long. They kept ignoring all... I heard they ignored all the caution signs. They didn't see the stop signs. They thought everything was going to be fine. They played a game. Only to figure out they were looked upon as a lame. They thought they had this person tamed, but this person was with your person only for the fame. He or she called your person a lame. Somebody here fakes it when somebody has sex. I see that. Let's see that. There's some fake sex here. This is horrible. Your person is ashamed. They let this shit go too far. They got too comfortable. Too, too comfortable. I don't know how long these relationships been going on, but I don't know. There's too many warning signs here. Aries, Gemini, Aquarius, Aquarius, Virgo. Peace and blessings. This is your part two. Great day. Namaste. Mm -mm.